In this case, when you guys want to do a, this problem, tangent of 75 degrees, again, we're going to look at this and break this apart. So it doesn't matter if the angle, what the angle is. You're going to want to have it broken apart. Now we just need to apply the formula. So again, we look at the formula. I am adding, so I'm going to use the sum formula. If you're subtracting, you'd use the difference formula. So now we just basically plug everything in. So therefore, or the tangent of u plus v, I'll write out the formula this time, just so you guys have it. Again, tangent of u plus tangent of v all over 1 minus tangent of u tangent of v. Does everybody agree with me? Now all we do is replace u with u and v with v. Does that make sense, Mason? Good. So all I'm simply going to do is do tangent of 30 degrees plus the tangent of 45 degrees all over 1 minus the tangent of 30 degrees times the tangent of 45 degrees. OK. Now, the reason why we did our worksheet is, Josh, you had, the thir you had pi over 3, right? Remember tangent of pi over 3, the one you corrected me on? That simplified to what? Square root of 3. So we know that the tangent of pi over 3 is 60 degrees, right? Is square root of 3. So therefore, the tangent of 30 degrees, which was also a problem on your on that quiz that I gave you beginning of the class period, that one was square root of 3 over 3, correct? So you guys are going to need to remember those because a lot of times I'm going to be asking you what the tangent of 30 degrees, tangent of 60 degrees, tangent of 45 degrees. Well, tangent of 45 degrees, that one's the easiest, right? Because that's the same number, right? So square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2. So that's just 1. So I'd want to make you guys want to make sure you remember these real easily. These are obviously only for the fourth quadrant. So tangent of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 3 plus tangent of 45 degrees is 1 over 1 minus square root of 3 over 3 times 1. So everybody see what I did. Huh? Yeah, you can solve for it. I mean, but you're going to get the same answer. I'm just saying, you, I didn't say you memorize these. You should already know these. You should know what the tangent of 60 degrees is. It is tangent of 60 degrees is the coordinate point um, 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. Do y over x. I'm just saying you don't need to do the math every time. You should start noticing the pattern that that's always going to be that square root of 3. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying recognize those patterns for that. You sh I mean, you can do the unit circle just like you did in your quiz. You'll get the same answers. I'm just saying to kind of speed it up because you can see how quickly I evaluated for all this, right? Now, this is really not technically simplified form. So the first thing I would do is I see there's fractions in the numerator and the denominator. The first things that I would do is multiply by 3 on the numerator and the denominator. Notice that these are binomials. So I'm actually going to have to continue my work over here because this takes a little bit of work. So I have square root of 3 plus 3 over 3 minus the square root of 3. Correct? And actually, what we're learning, would everybody agree? This? I just said I'm multiplying the top and the bottom by 3 to get rid of these fractions. So I had to put them in parentheses to make sure I reminded myself to apply distributive property. Now, what I'm, what I'm teaching in Algebra 2 right now is when you have a radical expression divided, or you have a radical expression divided by another radical expression, we don't want to leave the radical in the denominator, so we apply, um, we rationalize the denominator by multiplying by its conjugate. That's why nobody likes doing the tangent problems. So, yeah. Well, these are going to be your so irrational complex. So this is react to this positive. You're going to be multiplying by a complex conjugate. Um, so here, all you're doing basically, guys, is applying FOIL. This isn't anything that's crazy or new um, for you. The bottom, your middle terms will cancel out, which I'll do two examples of. So we'll have 9 plus 3 square root of 3 plus 3 square root of 3 
plus 3. Because what's the square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. three. So therefore, that's there. And then the denominator, what's nice about multiplying a denominator by its, um, by its uh, conjugate is it becomes the difference of two squares. The middle terms are going to divide out. Where here, the middle terms are going to add together. Here, the difference of two squares, the middle terms divide out or subtract to 0. I, I kind of like switched them around. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really do FOIL. I just did 3 times 3 is 9. And then I did 3 times square root of 3, 3 times square root of 3. So yeah, I didn't really, I, I kind of switched them around in my head. Um, so then over here, though, we'll have 9 minus 3. Now we just simplify our answers. 9 plus 3 is 12. This becomes plus 6 plus 6 square root of 3 all over 6. And then this 6 divides into both of these. So therefore, your final answer is 2 plus square root of 3. And that's the answer that would show up on the test. So yes, you have the formula which is given to you. Yes, you have to evaluate. Right? Do you guys remember, remember telling me at the beginning of the year, I said, hey, you're going to have to evaluate for these functions like this. It's just going to be one little speck of a problem. So you plug in your problems. You evaluate. Then we go back to knowing our algebra 2, getting rid of fractions, rationalizing the denominator, simplifying. That is your answer. These are great problems because they bring together like everything that we've been talking about so far. I mean, this is like huge. So we will